Right, welcome to the first blog of 2019. Um, started off quite well this blog, just had an absolute disaster, had the Ridge Monkey on and uh, yeah, my penny is uh, burned to absolute crisp. So that'll teach me for uh, trying to cook and blog at the same time. But um, yeah, you join me down at my new syndicate, um, which is uh, Deepins, uh, down in Bourne, Lincolnshire. Um, I've joined uh, Deeps 3 to start with. Um, I'm going to have a look at Deeps 2 as well because you can have a ticket for 2 and 3 um, and then I think it's invite only in terms of uh, Deeps 1 so we'll just see how we go, something a bit different this year um, particularly last year I was fishing a you know, large gravel pit and things have changed there slightly so um, yeah just something a bit different um, and also obviously uh, I'm going to be doing some, some vlogging as well so I'll take you around the lake a bit later on um, it's really nice, probably about 6-7 acres in size really peaceful really quiet some nice fishing here up sort of low 30s and um, so we should hopefully be able to get a few runs as the season develops We're in the um the last week of february at the moment so conditions are still tough although we've had you know a nice warm week last week and um, i think we just took the water temperature and it's up to about seven so still good for a bite anyway i'm going to start waffling on i'll uh, give you a bit of an update later on and i'll uh, try not to burn this uh, next panini Right, we couldn't have had a better start at the new syndicate. We're into one. Feels like a fairly nice fish as well, so... Uh, thanks to Simon for putting me on the fish. <laughs> <laughs> right, been a cracking start to uh, the Deepin Syndicate. We've had a result, the, uh, the middle rod's just ripped off on a Pine Apple and Esther Blend 12 pop-up. And uh, we've got a, a nice 22 and a quarter pound mirror that's been a little bit lively. Let's see if I can get it up to show you quickly and then we'll get her back. So that's been a little bit lively. There we go. 22 pound but yeah a little bit lively so I've got a couple of snaps I'm gonna get her back. Happy days. Right guys just a quick update. Um, it's half four now, so it'll probably get dark in the next hour, hour and a half. Um, I've got the barbecue on, hence why it's a bit smoky down here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get some chicken kebabs on, uh, crack a beer open shortly, and, um, yeah, hopefully we'll get a run uh, just before dark. Um, I've redone the right and middle rods. Uh, I've left the left-hand rod, it was absolutely fine. There was no problem with that when it went out. So, uh, yeah, confident of another bite. Um, just fishing singles at the moment. Um, where I've seen the fish when we got here. Um, obviously we've had one already, so yeah, fingers crossed some more. So uh, yeah, if anything happens, I'll uh, get back to you. Just a bit of an update for you. Um, it has gone really quiet. Um, you know, after uh, yesterday's action, I did think that we might be in for a few more today. But um, the wind switched round, it was blowing in Orville yesterday. It's now a west-southwest and it's quite a cold, chilly wind actually. It's due to pick up a little bit more I've um, been keeping my eyes peeled on the water, um, I've been up since 6 this morning, I haven't seen anything. Um, the, the last fish I heard was around 2, 2.30 this morning um, when one boshed out to the right of me. But um, since then it's gone really quiet. Um, about half 11, 12 o'clock, the bite yesterday came at 2, so um, let's see whether that, um, you know, the fish are following a pattern, let's see whether that makes a difference. But um, in the meantime I've had a recast on all three rods. Um, the left hand rod's gone out, yeah, I've put that in eight foot of water. The middle's gone out in five, and um, the right hand rod I've put in the margin, um, which is in about five foot of water as well. Um, the left and middle I've put on the Pineapple and Lester Blend 12 pop ups, and the right hand rod I've put on a um, top banana wafter. So um, the yellow seems to be working really well. I'm, I'm getting plenty of bites on those the, the last couple of weeks that I've been going fishing. Um, and the, the fish yesterday came on those as well, so uh, the yellow does seem to be working well this time of year. So let's, uh, let's see if that can continue, and um, yeah, if anything happens, I'll give you an update in a little while. Right, good morning guys. Final morning, um, nothing happened yesterday. Um, I didn't get much blogging done because we had a storm come through and it probably got up to around 40, 45 miles an hour last night. The bivvy was absolutely shaking everywhere. And we forecast uh, 45, 50 mile an hour winds today along with uh, a load of rain. So um, I've been up since six, I've watched the water for about half an hour, 45 minutes and um, I've got the bivvy down. 
before the rain comes. So uh, we we'll leave it a couple of hours and just see if we can pick one up in this morning bite. A couple of liners last night, but um, nothing else. Did see one fish show um, to the right. Um, see the reed bed at the top, top right hand corner. Um, I haven't seen anything else at all. Um, which is strange really because yesterday was bang on for it. You know, real, real good low pressure system. The conditions were absolutely perfect. The water temperature got up to eight yesterday and just checked it and it remained 7.9 overnight. So, you know, all the signs are that spring's on its way and, you know, the position's gonna be good, but I can't complain, you know, first session on the new syndicate and um, a 22 mirror and a 14 mirror is not a bad start. Um, I am the only one to catch on the lake as well. There is two others on, so you know I've, I've found the fish. I've got on them. I've done everything I can. I think in this session, to be honest, um, potentially could have had a move, um, but again, you know, I caught fish in this area where I'd seen them. So you know, I'm sort of quite happy with uh, with how things have gone. So unless anything else happens, I'll uh, I'll give you a, an update when I'm on the way. Right guys, welcome to uh, this week's blog. You join me for 48 hours at my other syndicate, which is a syndicate based in North Lincolnshire in Haxey. Um, <clears throat> it's Langholm Lake. It's a lake that used to be owned by the Carp Society. It's now uh, owned by a chap, uh, two chaps actually, um, Mick and Pete. Really nice guys have put a lot of effort into this lake. So uh, yeah, it's nice to be back on here. My ticket does actually end on the 16th of March. Um, and I wasn't going to renew because I had other plans, but um, you know, they might well have changed. So let, let's just see how the next couple of weeks goes. Um, but I will be back on Deepins next weekend. Um, I've set up, uh, I've had the rods in the water for about half an hour. Um, just cast three singles out to the island. Um, I'll do a little bit of swim work for you, but it has just started to, uh, to rain. So um, once this stops, I'll, uh, I'll have a look and, and turn the camera around and show you the, where I'm fishing and the spots I'm fishing. Um, I'll do a little bit of rig talk on this particular blog as well um, and I've got a couple of uh, neat products to show you so um, yeah look really looking forward to this session as I say I've got 48 hours on the bank and uh, until something else happens I'll get back to you then. These are the uh, islands that I was talking to you about earlier so you've got an island to the left a bit of a channel that runs up between them and uh, this island to the right so this is the one I'm fishing at. If you look in the distance you'll be able to see three tall trees. Um, so the left hand rod's aimed at uh, the end of the island. Um, that's in eight foot of water. The middle rod is three rod lengths to the right and is in 12 foot of water. And then the right hand rod is a rod length away from that in nine foot of water. I did have a, just a small mark around, um, four or five casts, no more than that. Um, this particular area of the lake is known to hold the fish in the winter. And um, you know, I didn't want to didn't want to potentially scare anything out of there. Um, and it's proved right because Sean next door to me has just had a, a, a really nice mirror, so I'll put that photo up um, so you can see. And, and you know that that fish is going to be absolutely awesome when it's uh, upper twenties, early thirties, um, because they, they do grow nicely in here. Um, not much has happened since I've, uh, I've had a panini and uh, I've left the rods as they are at the moment, considering a recast, but. They did all go out really sweet, so I don't think I need to move them at this moment in time. Um, the weather's not great. It's, uh, it's been on and off uh, with the rain, and it's uh, just started raining again. So until anything else happens, I'll uh, speak to you a bit later on. Good morning. Um, nothing to report on my side, I'm afraid. Um, all quiet. Um, I didn't have any action at all on the rods. Um, the wind picked up in the night and the, the bleeps I did have, I think, were caused by the, the wind. Um, but uh, it was a busy night for Sean to the left of me. Um, he came and woke me up at about uh, two o'clock to photo a stunning 24 pound common. Um, again, caught on, uh, on a four foot zig. Um, so I've been up this morning since six o'clock and uh, I've reeled the left of the middle rod in and I've been round to Sean swim and I've, I've nicked a couple of zigs um, because I've not got any on me. So. Um, you know, the, the fish are clearly not feeding on the bottom. Um, that's two bites now to four foot zigs, and um, you know, it'd just be absolutely daft not to just get on it, basically. So, um, Sean's kindly uh, lent me a couple of zigs. Um, I've got them out. 
one at uh, 29 wraps and one at 28 um, to the left of that island where I showed you yesterday. That's where the fish do seem to be held up at the moment. Um, just on that point and, and going to speak to Sean, I see a lot of anglers on the bank nowadays that you know will sit there blanking when others are catching fish. There's no harm in you know walking around to the next swim, seeing seeing who's catching fish, and just asking and just picking anglers' brains. You know, if it helps you catch more fish, I don't see there's any reason why you shouldn't. Some people won't tell you that's absolutely fine, but you know, a lot of anglers are receptive to, to talking about you know, what they're doing and what's working for them. Um, so you know, I don't think there's any harm in it at all. I mean, I remember when I was first season on. Gerton, I used to fish with a lad called Scott and you know I was constantly asking him you know what, what are you doing differently why are you catching fish what areas are you fishing you know and you know he'd be happy to share that information so you know, I think that's a, a top tip really if, if someone else is catching have a walk around and, and have a chat with them if they don't want to tell you no harm done you know you, you can try and figure it out but um, you know yeah just just something to consider when you're out in the bank um, so yeah, we'll see how they go. Um, obviously a lot more confident, fish are, fish are getting caught on zigs. Um, I feel like I'm now on the right method. You know, um, I've probably spent the last 10 to 12 hours um, on the bottom where the fish aren't really. Um, having said that, I haven't moved the right arm rod because I have seen a fish show about half an hour ago, um, 80 yards out and um, it came right out of the water and then it fizzed up on the bottom. So yeah, that, that's in the area. So I'm just gonna leave that for a little while and, and see what happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's supposed to uh, supposed to pick up today with 45, 50 mile an hour winds. So um, we'll see how that goes. Um, but until anything else happens, I'll get back to you then. So that weather we had uh, forecast, it's now come in. Absolutely blowing the hoolie out there now. Definitely up to around 40 miles an hour. No action on the fishing rods as of yet, but hopefully this will uh, get them stirred up. Right, until something happens, I'll speak to you then. Right, just a bit of an update for you. It's absolutely blowing a gale now. Um, 45, 50 mile an hour winds. You'd also notice the left hand rods in. Um, absolutely gutted, just lost one. Um, ripped off, um, four foot zig. Um, I definitely think the fish have come over because literally 10 minutes before that, Sean's just put back a, a 16 pound mirror. So they're definitely in the upper layers. Um, no chance of getting the rod out there. I'm you know, fishing at 120 yards. Um, so I'm just gonna have to wait. This is forecast to uh, die down by about three o'clock. So, um, We'll get the rod back out then, but uh, yeah, gutted because we're out here doing it, and it's uh, it's pretty savage at the minute. So uh, we'll get it back out later on, and uh, I'll give you a bit of an update when this is passed. <laughs> 